is Rain-X any good for motorcyclists? Let's talk about that. Let's get cracking. Good moto morning. Welcome to another episode of Kraken's Garage. I'm your host, Eric, and today we're gonna to talk about Rain-X, the water repellent for glass that has been around since 1972. Will it work on uh, face shields of uh, helmets, your windshield and your headlight, fog lamps, things of that nature. We're gonna do a quick how-to video on how to apply it. A lot of people make mistakes here and don't get very good results, so they kind of get frowned upon the product. So let's talk about that first going into it. First, with any glass cleaner, clean your uh, face shield up nice and tidy. Get uh, Make sure that you're uh, working with a clean surface. The next, as I've brought up a couple of times in other videos, some cheap isopropyl alcohol, mix it 70% with uh, some decent water, and clean your face shield. That gets any impurities off of, off of the surface and gives you a really nice surface for the Rain-X to adhere to. After that dries up, spray it on liberally and then wipe it across and allow a good surface of it to remain on it and let it buff to, uh, let it dry to a haze. While that's drying quickly, while you have your isopropyl alcohol out, your rubber gasket that goes around the entire shield, let's pop this off to get a better look. All right, your rubber gasket that seals all the elements out of your uh, face shield, most importantly, wind noises and things of that nature. Take some isopropyl alcohol and dampen an area on your rag and just clean that seal up. And that gets a nice, good, clean surface when you uh, reinstall your shield. It will seal up properly and it'll help reduce wind noise and things of that nature. Okay, we're gonna apply two to three coats and let it fog up and then buff it off lightly. And it doesn't take long for it to dry, but it should dry to a haze. And after that, I'm not gonna do the inside. You can, and it'll help prevent fogging of the inside of your face shield. I'm not on this one because I have a pin lock installed. Okay, I have two face shields here, and this is a atomizer that you would use to uh, if you had a chest cold, put menthol in there so you're breathing it all night while you're sleeping or whatever. So you can see the steam rolling out of it. It's not very aggressive or hot, but there is a steam nonetheless. Let's try it on the uh, face shield that does not have any rain -X on it. And you can see it fogs right up, clings to the plastic, and uh, prohibits your vision on a foggy day, let alone rain droplets and things of that nature. We'll get back to that one in just a second. Let's do the one we just uh, treated with the Rain-X from 1972. All right, does fog up a little, but it also uh, is not covering as broad a region and it kind of uh, dries up quickly, let's say. Let's try experiment number two. I have just plain old water in this bottle. You can see how it attaches to the untreated face shield. And you can see how it kind of um, distributes itself in, in kind of a smooth panel rather than droplets all across the glass. So you kind of still maintain your vision a lot better. I've seen all kinds of products for your windshield and uh, things of that nature that run as high as like $80 and are supposed to last two years. This is a $6 bottle of uh, snake oil that's been around a long, long time. It has worked for me and it works really well on my headlights, my uh, windshield or bikini uh, windshields on my bike, things of that nature, my mirrors, anything glass or kind of plastic, it, it does a really good job of repelling the water. In particular, what I like when I get that beating up on my face shield as I'm going down the road. If you just turn your head ever so slightly to one side and the other, the wind just absolutely blows the water right off and you're off and rolling again. Yeah, I spent a lot of time doing this, going down the road to get rid of the uh, water on my face shield so I could see properly. May not apply for everybody if you lived in Pacific Northwest, Seattle or London where you get rain quite a bit. 
it, it does help to bridge that gap. It's not a cure-all, but it does what it says it's supposed to do and for six bucks, um, and I get, a, you know, hundreds and hundreds of applications out of it. Uh, I, I think it's of, a, of value and maybe a quick fix to a minor problem or annoyance in your motorcycling life. So, something to think about. I'll put a link down in the description if you have any interest in purchasing this product. You can buy it at any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those places are gonna sell it. They also make one that's a, a two-shot thing. It's also a glass cleaner and a repellent. I wouldn't recommend that one. Normally when you have multitask products, they normally split the fence and, and don't do either one justice, meaning cleaning the glass and repelling the water. So. I would recommend just getting the water repellent that standalone, and that product does work. I will say that I have never had it attack any of the uh, UV coatings on a, any of my face shields or anything of that nature either. I can't guarantee that for every face shield, just on my AGV helmets, my Bell helmets, um, Arai, other brands that I've used, Shoeys, I've never had a moment's problem with it attacking the erodium shields or anything like that as far as those coatings on those very expensive face shields take care of your face shields every year i buy i don't know two to three of them they're literally my windshield for my motorcycle as i'm going down the road and they take a beating from debris and rocks and slag hitting it as i'm going down the road in inclement weather and things of that nature and when they get scratched up now would be a good time to take a hard look at your helmet inspect it and clean it and replace that windshield if necessary. They aren't cheap. The clear ones usually run in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 bucks, and the mirrored ones, uh, the tinted visors, are normally in the neighborhood of 70 to 100 dollars, depending on the brand. They are not inexpensive, so. But don't compromise your vision. Please take a look at your helmet before you jump on your bike and say, you know, woohoo, spring's here. Let's go for a long ride and find out. It's scratched up from last year's uh, riding season. So give that some thought. They have a fancy name for the uh, chemical ingredients involved in this. I'm not gonna go into that, nobody really cares. But uh, it's basically, most of them are a silicone based, which uh, adheres and clings to a cling surface and repels any type of moisture. So I highly recommend it. And if you buy yourself a good set of rain gloves, hang on, let me get mine. This is a pair of held rain gloves. It actually uh, acts as two, there's a membrane, uh, so you can use it as an air glove, and then you also have a uh, separate membrane in it to keep your hand waterproof. The part of this I wanted to point out was they have this rubber wiper blade right on the finger. A decent uh, rain glove is going to have that, so when you get build up on your visor, it should be on the left hand, your clutch hand, so that you're not deaccelerating when you let go. Let go of your clutch hand, one swipe of the finger, and you've got a clean windshield. That has worked wonders for me over the years, so when you have your isopropyl alcohol, I would also give that a wipe. Make sure, just like the wiper blades on your car, that they're clean before you get out on the open road and you're not actually damaging your visor by wiping it uh, because you have debris or whatever caught up in the uh, wiper blade on your, your glove. So with that, there's my ghost dog. It's time for me to wrap up this short video. Just a quick kind of tech tool tip for the day as we enter into the spring riding season. I hope it helps some of you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button right down there in the corner. And remember folks, go riding. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.